relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. They ask me to record this uh, 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 meeting so that they can listen to your stories as well. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I, all right. What all grandma stories you're after? Is it? <laughs> I, it, it these are the stories that make make us who we are. People always say. Uh, I agree. Yeah. If, if we without our forefathers, who are we? You know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are, you know, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, see, I'm so so glad and so proud that you are doing this, Pepper. <laughs> Now, now so you keep the next generation alive. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what I'm 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 hoping, you know. I'm hoping that uh when they hear these kinds of stories that uh, they, they know hey, you know, we are from good stock, you know, we are not just uh, atu akau, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I think I think living overseas as well, it's very important for the ones who are the, the second generation, you know, yeah. or rather our first generation who are living here. You know, so like for our kids, it's fine because we've always drilled them with a lot of our histories. Yeah. And I think there are a lot of parents who doesn't do that. Ah, good, 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 good. Think, yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially when you live overseas, I think it's very important, you know, where your roots comes from. Yeah. Because like, you know, yeah, for them, it's their roots are here. But so where does your roots come from? So that's yeah. very important. So, yeah. So yeah. our kids are... I think in a way it's good that we actually have started them from very young. Okay. So even like when they're in school, we will bring them up when it's Chinese New Year, it's their holiday. <laughs> so uh, we'll take time off from the school for them and then they'll come up and they will, you know, so then they'll celebrate holidays, you know, like Chinese New Year. Like they'll, yeah, yeah. Until the end of primary school and then high school can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, Australia, yeah. Right? Not enough holidays, lah. Your Australia Labor Day and Christmas. You only got these two holidays, only lah. We all lah. No, no. Yeah, you guys have eighteen days. We've got. Yeah. I think we've got twelve. Only twelve. Twelve man. No lah. I last time counted was only two. No, we've got Labor Day. No, no, we've got. <laughs> no, we've got Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, <laughs> Labor Day. day. One one holiday. We've got exhi exhibition day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got Easter holidays, Easter holidays. We've got about twelve, I think. I I I remember when I was in Australia. I keep thinking, why, why, how come there's no, why are we still in school, uh? How come no, 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 where the long weekends, uh, Yeah, uh, then yeah, we have we have twelve, twelve, twelve. Agong's birthday also you get holiday. Kutan's birthday also you get holiday. Federal territory yeah, yeah. also you get holiday. <laughs> we also have Queen's birthday. We have yeah, Queen's birthday. That one is really crazy. You know, the thing that do everything in Australia, and then you're celebrating her birthday. What? Well, uh. Because we want holiday, ma. We don't have enough yeah. holidays. <laughs> Australia, okay, Australia Day lah, like January twenty sixth, right? Or to twenty fifth, yeah. uh, right? Yeah, I remember. Australia, we've got uh NZ Day, and, 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 and then we have got uh, like people sell. NZ Day in commemorations of those who fight for the NZ balls. Yes, 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 yes. That one was yeah. important. That, one. that was important. But I mean, we, yeah, for us, it's like, never mind, like, it's holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have about 12, like, I think we have about 12 holidays. Okay, 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 yeah. Anyway. Not bad. Uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> you, did you manage to see the video I, I did of uh, Fu Fong? Uh? Uh, yeah, I. I saw the one at Jinko. Eh? Uh, long ago, long ago. Where, where you corrected me, uh, well, you corrected him and he said that you guys live in back street. And then it turned out that it's actually, he meant beach street. And yeah, yeah. then only it became, oh, wait, we, we had got, that was in beach street, like that was, that is B street, right? In, 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 in Penang, like, wait, our family has got connected to someone who owns a, a house in beach street. Like, then only like, whoa, wait, we are not, we are from good stock, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna if you can answer it, you, you, you know the answer, just, just just tell us the story. If you don't know, then just just give us what you think you know. Uh, it's, it's okay. I'll make up stories. Yeah, don't need to be wrong. Because, uh, uh, no. that, 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 that's okay. fine. So this how, do you know how you're related to to us? Because you you definitely do not come I... from fathers, brothers. Um, no, no. You know? I, I think, I believe, so my mom and your grandma, you know, the grandma from Dim Dian Teng Road, yes. uh, mm, uh, ah. so I believe that their fathers, either their fathers or their grandfathers are brothers. I believe 
I think it's their fathers who are brothers, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I believe it's that. So it, 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 it could, so this could be where uh, Kupong's story is, is uh, uh, what he says is correct. Uh. He says that there, there, there were two brothers from the Tan, uh, the Tan family. One was in Penang and one was in Medan. Yeah, so the, the one, uh, uh, yeah, well, the two brothers, uh, one brother from Medan used to send all the Hasil Bumi, you always say Hasil Bumi means, you know, whatever, uh, you know, uh, for, they, they came from they the They trade land. in onions, they trade in onions and rice. Ah, oh, what was the first one, onions? What is that? Onions, onions. Yes, onions and rice. The red oh. onions? Okay. They okay. do a lot of trading. Yeah, so it seems he was sent to the uh, brother in Penang. So the brother in Penang, it seems, is the one who owns uh, the Beach Street uh, house so, or the shop lot in Beach Street. So he was doing big time trader. And and, uh, and, and according to Kukong, also, he also had several wives. Lah. So, uh, but he, he, Kukong has got no idea uh, uh, where they are. So he only knows. Uh, because uh, Kukong would be related to my Lim Lian Tengrot Ama. He, he yeah. is the youngest brother of my Ama, the, the, the Lim Lian Tengrot uh, Ama. Yeah. yeah, the youngest yeah. He, He's yeah. still alive, if not mistaken. Kukong? Yeah, Kukong is still alive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this one, okay, this photo. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No, but, but this photo is my mom's mom. So I think that your grandma and my mom, they are related through their dad or, or dad. Ma. So yeah. they are related through dad, not so much with, uh, sure. yeah. Yeah, I think so So too. I mean, the stories that I get, stories, yeah. So the stories I get is, so my grandfather, the one who comes from Beach Street, so he stole away as a 14-year-old kid from China. So he he's passed away. So at 14 years of age, he stole a big cargo ship from China. And then he landed in Indonesia. Can you hear me still? Okay. So then, um, so he landed himself in Indonesia and then he started as a very young boy, he started as a coolie, you know, like those uh, uh, hard labor people. So yeah. he... Sweep, sweep the floor, he carries all the goods and all the things. I guess that's where he, you know, gets all his connections, slowly built his connection from. And then later, he started his uh, trading on his own, small time. And then he built himself well enough that then he sailed into Penang and start, start off in Penang. And then when, so that's the story I hear. So when he's come into Penang, so he married... At some stage, he marries grandma. And then he then brought his mom and his brother from China to come across. And his brother has already a wife in China, but I think the wife did not want to come along with him. So the mom and the brother sets off to come. So they could have gone into... Medan, maybe their first port of call, probably with the cargo ship at that time, you've probably stopped in Indonesia first. So he could be there in Indonesia. I'm not too sure. So he could be the person there. But then also then this, uh, so I think his, his brother has a wife there and the wife has got kids, but they didn't bring, the, they didn't want to bring them first. So the, just the mom and the brother set sails across here. And then after that, I think then the brother remarries here, right? And then have his own family as well. That's my take of the story. La. Okay. You know, that's what I believe, yeah. So then I don't know whether, um, yeah, so that's why I, I can't remember whether uh, your grandma's dad is my mom's dad's brother or was it their grandfather who is the brother? I have a feeling because mom says that Abun is her cousin. So her cousin means that their fathers must be brothers. Nah. Well, that, that, that story I think is true lah, because when Kukong was here, he also said the same thing. that the Something like 
Yeah, your mom and the lin my linen thing wrote Ama, their fathers are brothers. Ah, that's, uh, that's, that's like probably it. correct. Yeah. 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 I think that that's what it is because mom always says that they are cousins. So which means that their bro their dads are brothers, you know, and that could be so Ama's your Ama's dad could have been the one who was who was the younger brother of my mom's dad. And then yeah. so, you know, because I think in those times when the ship comes in, they must have, their first part of call must be Indonesia. So, because my grandfather also first stopped in Indonesia first. Right, right, uh, right. So maybe then his brother stopped in Indonesia and then he stopped there for a while until later on, then only he came out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, that could be, that could be how it started. Yeah. 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 Could, yeah. So you see, all it's all in our DNAs that, you know, they work really hard. <laughs> Ah, yeah. very, and then there's always a fortune whenever there's opportunity take it go and start it you know it's all in our dna's now <laughs> yeah 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 inherited all yeah. this uh, yeah so this you've always lived at beach street what, what's the address on or at, at beach street anyway three four three three four three okay and beach beach street. remember i sent i sent to you yeah the, that but it looks really i mean it looks quite old now but you see the inside of the house. I tried to draw, but unfortunately, it didn't work out. Okay, <laughs> I can explain to you the house is really, really like now that we go back to Penang and people say, "Oh yeah, go and live in one of those old heritage houses." I'm like, "No, no, I've lived in those houses all my life <laughs> when I was in Penang." So if you go into the house, it's a multi. It's it's a very multi-purpose house. Like this house, you go inside there. The first section of it is business. So they, they do their business. The second part of it has got the air well because it's a double story house. So there's air well, right? So you go second part of the house. So there is an air well, but when it rains, there's something that you can close it so the rain doesn't come through. And then there's gutters that bring the waters down. Very good architecture, very well thought, but it also gives circulation to the house, which is like really good. Yeah. Then you go in there and then, and this Beach Street house is a very long house. It, it goes from Beach Street all the way through until Victoria Street into another street. And there's a story to Beach Street, okay? So these holes, those were all terrace houses, pre-war days they were built. And in the whole stretch of houses, I think there must be easily about 20, 30 houses in a stretch, right? Ours were right in the middle. But during the World War II, because those times, people used to carry those goods on those uh, human cart. And it looks like cannon when it's all parked together. And then because it's all parked together, so during the World War II, the Japanese thought that there were cannons aiming at them. So they shot down bombs. So out of that 30, 30 houses or so in that row of houses, a lot of them were damaged. So half were gone. But those three houses in the middle remained. They didn't get those three houses. So that's why those three houses are connected all the way to Victoria Street. <laughs> oh, so they were built, yeah. So it's a very long house. So you could save, you know, like, so downstairs was the business area. Upstairs, a family leaves. Behind there, there's an, another family leaves. And then downstairs, bottom layer, there was a family who leave. And then the, the other part of the house is shop houses again, office again. Oh. Very hard to imagine. The house still belongs to you or to your family? No, it's never, no, it belongs to one of my, okay, so then, so grandfather has four children, as far as I know, with, with this grandma, and so she's got two sons and two daughters. So that is, that is like, oh, baku, fat baku, tiam like ku, you know, ku is, to me like it's cool because it's my mom's brother, and then two sisters, two, two girls, right? So, Obaku is the one who is an accountant, ingenious, westernized. So he set off, sail off to Australia to study accountancy, got his chartered accountancy, worked with the United Nations, blah, blah, blah. So he stays in Singapore. And, but uh, the Tiam Lai Aku, he's the one who is more business-minded. So he stays with his dad. And he is the one, I mean, like that probably, his dad passed a lot of things to him, but I think he deserved it because he really works hard, do the hard, hard yarn with the dad carry goods and all those things you know so he inherited i believe a lot of you know that his dad's things are but still uh my grandfather i think he was quite and then or uh pet baku 
I don't know where he comes from, but he's part of the family. <laughs> so they call him Pat Baku because he's like, he looks a bit like, uh, uh, not Ozzy, he's like uh, Amor, you know, yeah. so they call him Pat Baku because he's very fat, fat, you see, Pat Baku. <laughs> yeah. So so there's with like three Aku, you know, yeah. So the house in Beach Street uh, is actually, as I can remember, mom, I can recall mom was telling the story of how when grandpa passed away, he told, uh, he told, I think it belongs to the Tiam Lai Aku and the Pet Baku because, uh, no, Obaku, Obaku, he is the first son of the family. So whether he's westernized, he's involved in the business or not, you know, I think in their China term, this is my first son. He still gets his things, you know. Yeah, so I think that house was left for both the sons, you know, but on the proviso that uh, mom stays in there. My mom stays in there, you know. So that's how we all stays in there. So that's what my understanding is, you know. So, okay. uh, At that time, how many families were in that, so that beach house? We, we stay there. I think Tiam uh, Lai Gu also stays, but she stays at the back part the back portion, and then we stay at the front portion. And then downstairs, he conducts his business, and the back portion of the house, they rented it out for a transport company that runs the business, and then I think the workers' family stays in there as well. Yeah. Okay. So there's like one, two, three family. So now that you, you've re your family has already moved out, so... so I don't know who lives there anymore, nor do I know who owns it anymore. But when I left, uh, uh, it was all rented out already. So it's all the family. There was the transport company at the back. They're still running it. And then upstairs is their, com their company's family staying. I think the front, the front, I do not know because the last time I went back there was to clear my mom's things. That was many, many, many years ago. And that was it. And then Aku was still transacting business there, but Aku has already passed away as well. So I don't really know who run, who owns those places now. Yeah, I have no idea who owns it. Now. Yeah. But the last shot I took was there. I unfortunately I don't have many shots of, of the house when, when I live in. <laughs> well, last time no for cameras. So. I know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah everybody's yeah. got a camera and, and then you can upload it to yeah. Facebook. Thousands and thousands of photos and Facebook doesn't care, you know, so we do lah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, okay, yeah, we don't have much of the place. Oh, oh okay, yeah. But so, so I, I only vaguely remember, all, all, I, all, all I remember is, the, this is the, the house where, uh, it's a shop lot. It's the only house we visited in, during Chinese New Year. That it's, a, it's a shop lot and they serve ice cream. So, that, that's yes. always. And yes. we always have to park at somebody else's uh, shop lot because we, we always come with one big gang and then we can't park yeah. everywhere. And, yeah. So that, that's all I remember. We we, we we always like, and then we always point that, that you know, we just follow him. So I really have no idea. Uh, uh, and, and yeah, like I said, I, I don't even know that it's a, uh, where the shop lot was or, or it's on Beach Street until Kukong came and told me back street. And then that later, and I was like, oh, it's Beach Street. And you told me, ah. Okay, yeah, they make yeah. sense, yeah, yeah, Tell the story. But the exciting thing, the very exciting thing of the house too was that as a little kid, so upstairs there's all the rooms, right? I mean, it's an all open space house up there. And then, uh, and then the front room, on the floor of the front room, there is a hole. And that's where, you know how nowadays you all use camera to see who is outside? For us, it's like you look down into that little hole. So you always, as a little kid, someone knocks at the door downstairs. You run as fast as you can to the front door, to the front room, look down on a little hole and see who is there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's the best uh, part of that house as a kid. Oh, okay. I, 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 that was pointed out to me uh, a few years ago where I went on a historical walking tour uh, in, uh, in Klang. And, and yeah, and somebody who, the, the, the tour guide, uh, pointed it out to, to us. He said, you see that hole there? And then, uh, yeah, and then we, we all had to guess what that hole was. And then as it turns out, it's exactly what you said. It is to peek, to see who was down, down, uh, downstairs, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, so you also have that, that same hole. Oh, okay, okay. As you, so as you grow 
as you grow older and you get cheekier, right? So then when uh, people who doesn't know there's such thing as a hole on the floor upstairs, right? You'll come knocking at the door and then you go down and have a look down there and say, Oi! And then you close it back and people's like, where did the sound come from? You know, it's like, <laughs> we had so much fun doing that for people. <laughs> <It doesn't matter. laughs> Uh, oh before I forget, if if the, the zoom will end in about ten minutes time because we only got a forty yeah. minute I think. So it, I heard I, I I'm not sure but uh, try clicking the same link again and, and then it, it, it seems to restart the, 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 the next forty minute uh, cycle, okay? Uh, okay, we'll give it a try. Yeah, failing which then we'll have to do a, a, a uh, maybe I'll set up another one and send you the link on on uh, on, on WhatsApp or whatever. Let's just have it handy, like, Just in case, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good in Zoom as well. Uh, okay. I want to ask, what what did your dad uh do? What did we do as a kid? Your dad, your 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 father. What did he work at? Oh, dad. So dad, the dad works. He is more like uh, he does some training of his own, and then uh, he works basically for my uncle downstairs, with my uncle downstairs in the clerical part of things. And what, what were your, what were, what were the, 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 the trading goods? Oh yeah, I think, okay. So when we live there, okay, we actually share the house with office people and also we share our house with onions. <laughs> so they, so uh, I believe uncle continues, the uncle continues to do with some trading of onions or, Sometimes they rent out to people who, who downstairs there and they, they all do a lot of trading with onions and uh, sacks of onions, sacks of rice or sugar. So I think they throw in com commodities like this. So I remember as a kid, we used to always climb those packets of <laughs> sacks of right. whatever that is as for the fun of it. Yeah. Right. And then also, I forgot to tell you, in that house too, and then another interesting thing is that they have got a bunker. I remember when as a kid, there was a little bunker. Uh, um, it's made of cement. And we went to always go inside there, hide, but it's so smelly in there. And the bunker actually was built because of the war, during the World War. So sometimes they hide their money. I remember we opened up uh, treasure chests of money, but those are all Japanese money. So it doesn't, you know, it's of no... No, no values anymore. I used to remember we opened ourselves, gee, what are these? So you're like playing with money, but they're actually real money in those days. Like lots of times. So there's bunkers. So I've seen like bunkers before. It's quite interesting. Yeah. But anyway, so those area after that, they knock away the bunkers and then they use it like storage. So it's also like a go down, you know? So yeah, so we can live in places like that. But I guess because the house has got a lot of uh, like... Uh, Air vent, air, air well. Air well. So it gives it the sensation. You know, if not, you would have died in there because onions, you know, produces those things. <laughs> As a kid, you don't know, you just climb and play and you fall down or whatever, you hide and hide and sit there and all those things. Yeah. So that's what they do. Yeah. Okay. But my my dad, I don't think he involves himself in big businesses, but he does a lot of like, little tradings. Okay, okay. And you say he yeah. did the clerical work as well, huh? Yeah, that does clerical. I think he does a little bit of clerical, or maybe like you know, little run arounds for my uncle downstairs, yeah. the uh, Lai uncle. Yeah. Okay. And mum is a school teacher. You know, mum is a school teacher. No, I did not know that. Oh, you don't know mum is a school? Yeah. Okay, my mum is a school teacher, a primary school teacher. Teaching is a passion. My dad doesn't even know his own grandfather's name. Uh, I know, it's really hard. It's really hard. Those times, nothing was documented. I think that's an honesty. Like, I remember my grandfather's name because mom drills it in me, Tan Yi Seng, and the mother's name was Lim So Lian. You know, that's all I can remember. But my dad's side, he didn't tell me what his, his dad and mom's name were. But I know that his dad comes from China. So both my grandfathers come from China, but I think both my grandmothers are locally from Penang. Uh, but uh, I think, so my dad's side is there are a lot of inventors. They're all, you know, like they invent like the choose monitors, they invent like those cutters that cuts, cuts the palm from the palm tree. So they are inventors, their side. That's where my brother probably picked up 
from you know being in engineering. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's his side. But I don't know what his father's name is, seriously, <laughs> as well. Yeah. I know his dad married, I know his dad marries all the three sisters <laughs> because one died married, second wife, second third wife. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, according to uh Kukong, your your grandpa from your mom's side uh, had three wives. If if I remember correctly, it was three. And, and uh, but uh, he 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 doesn't know which wife is your grandma, but he he insists that it's true. He has three wives, I mean that or four yeah. wives. I mean that like yeah yeah. And it yeah. is not uncommon back then for a rich man to yeah. have several wives and, and mistresses. And um, I I think to 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 me and I think to all the cousins we we don't really care la, You know, it's just, as long as yeah. And, in fact, my Akong also had had a well mistress, um, but uh, I choose to tell the story as a as a uh, um, what do you call that a love story that was forbidden. You know, it's really how you tell the story, lah. <laughs> so, exactly, yeah. I agree. Uh, so I've got cousins whom uh, whom I'm not very close with, uh, but uh, the cousins uh, none, uh, nonetheless, um, uh, and and they are all in the family tree, I, I, I put them in. The, the family tree is really good, that it allows you to have a second wife, or, or, or whatever, you know, and then uh, from there you can also build another tree, and then you can compare it to see, you know, who, who, who is what, and, and, and where you stand, or on, on uh, which level. So the higher level are all your aunties and uncles, and at the bottom level, all the nieces, la. and then another level, all the grandchildren, you know, the grand nieces, and grand <laughs> grand nephews. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How many yeah. levels did you build up to? Uh, from uh, from our child, my my me my children is the lowest level, uh, and then yeah. uh, my level, that I think will be then, your level, and that your level is think the same as my dad's level. Yeah. And uh, my grandma. Grandma. Uh, then his her her parents, and I think one one more, but that oh. one is just like a one lone person or or two. Two persons only, like that. That you know, nobody knows uh, much about that that particular story. Yeah. You know, yeah. But yeah. they do know la, That he came from here and there. And this this also was built in by uh, Aku Aku Kong. Sorry, I uh, was built in by Aku Kong. So uh, I I know the, the place we come from in in uh, Amoy. Uh, the name, but again, he, the name he remembers is from. How many decades ago when I checked Google Maps yeah. and I, I went I went to Wikipedia and all that, there's no such place like You know, it's probably a suburb or a, a an area in 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 that place. But really, like if you, yeah. if you ask, go back and point out the house, nobody knows where. Yeah, yeah no, no, nobody yeah. knows where. So, but we we I know somewhere. Yeah, in yeah. must be when I went to China, I went to a place called um, Xiamen. Okay. Ah. Yeah. The place called Siamen, and Siamen, apparently Siamen and Shanto is where a lot of uh, Chinese people store into boats and came out. And yeah. a lot of them, are, yeah, so it could be from one of those. And the, over there, quite near there, is a Fujian province, yeah. or Tian, you know, Fujian province. So they could have come. That's what I was imagining when I was there. Oh, grandpa must have come from Siamen or Shanto and then store away into these big boats, you know. But in those time, those time they were already ports, you know, that takes goods out to the world. Yeah. 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 So, so it's yeah, very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And okay, so let's let's uh, let's talk about you. What you you uh, which which school did you go to in in, in uh, primary school? Okay, I went to my primary school was okay. Okay, talk about me. All right, let me show you my photograph. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. So this was me and mom. It's frozen. Oh, 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 oh a baby photo. Okay. 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 Uh, this is a big, bigger one. Okay, that's me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I can see. Still see pictures of and then I'll show you something. I'll show you something else. Okay. So then this was all growing up, lah. Growing up years. This one was in uh Tiam Lai Ku's house. Right. But he lives in Kampa Road then. I can still remember. 
Okay. Uh, then, okay, so then growing up years, you so I don't know who went to, who went somewhere. Like, this is the Penang Airport. Like, it's my brother and myself. Oh. I, I got one last one afterwards to show you. Anyway, these were the times when we all have to do like that. Yes, go to the Very formal as a young kid got to take photographs like that. Yeah, yeah. And this is the best one that connects me to your grandma's house at Lim Liang Teng Road. We were ah, swimming like a monkey. Yes, that is definitely Lim Liang At that time, road. we always yes. have a... Remember your Lim Liang Teng Road house? Yes, that is definitely the house. That is definitely the house. Lim yes. Liang Teng Road? Yes. No more of this. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I see I've got this photo. So spend a lot of your... Our time in your place too, <laughs> in your grandma's place too. <laughs> oh, okay. You have you scanned the yeah. photo? So I, I grew up. So I grew up in Beach Street. Uh, I can scan those photographs. Yeah, that's this me and my brother's monkey monkey time. So. <laughs> oh, that's your 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 brother. Okay, okay. Because I'm trying to recognize uh, which of my uncles that 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 is. Yeah, that's <laughs> me and my brother. You, you know that you can uh, scan photo using the phone. There, there is a uh. From Google, yeah. there is a yeah. there is an app called Photo Scan, and you just hold your phone over. It doesn't matter oh, whether you're using it. You, uh, the the Google yeah. will know yeah. how to make it uh, uh straight again. It, it it will know. Okay. Yeah, you you just okay. uh, it, it's really really simple. It will it will tell you how to use it. Really simple to use, and you just have to 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 scan it. Yeah. You uh, um I I, I well, one day I took uh my kids uh so we we I scan. Lots of my mom's old photos and, and whatnot, you know, just to tell them that your grandma didn't always used to look like this old lady, you know, she used to be quite hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, so so yeah, please please scan it and then keep it somewhere. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, which what which uh which schools did you attend? Okay. When I was in in kindergarten, I was in this one called Hu Yusia which is in, I can't remember what road it is anymore. It's like a Chinese association kind of kindergarten. So I went to that one. And then when I, in my primary school, I was in Island Girls School. It is still there. Uh, yeah, Island Girls School. And then when I was in, then I was in Polo Ground Secondary School for my lower secondary. And then I went to Tungku Puan Hapsa. And then after that, uh, oh, then I finished from five, and then I just did my college. My uh, I work. I I work. I study in Sima College, like the Stanford College. And then after that, I started working. So I started working quite young when I was about probably about nineteen. Ooh. Yeah. What What did you yeah. do? So I do secretary. I did uh, in my college. I did my uh, secretarial uh, diploma. So I started off with a clerical job in a testing laboratory, typing all the testing reports and learning, oh my God, ice cream has got so much bacteria parts per million. <laughs> you know, that's where you learn all these things. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, then after that, I worked with a law lawyer's company, a law company. Um, and, that's where, and that's where I learned that uh, uh, you can also do, so we, we have to do a lot of uh, law reporting so the lawyers was really good he trained us a lot in a lot of things and he said oh do you want to do law external I said how many years does it take 10 years no 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 so right. I didn't pursue on that one yeah but then I I picked up some uh, because secretary course we do uh, shorthand so then I went to pick up she says okay you go and do some courses in Bahasa Malaysia you know like uh, shorthand in Bahasa Malaysia so then we did that in like uh, I think there's another, not, not the pigment studies, there's another one I can't remember. But anyway, those were the days. And then after that, I worked for a few years. Then I worked for uh, the Golden Sands Hotel. Exciting times growing up. Yeah. So then I worked for the Golden Sands for about a couple of years. And then I worked for the, Lang uh, and then I went over to Langkawi and worked with the Pelangi Beach Resort. We opened up the hotel with the general manager. That was like really exciting time. Yeah. So then I worked there for about two years and then I came back, I came into Australia. Then I worked with, uh, I came, my first port of call in Australia is Melbourne. So I worked temping for a while. And then after that, we came into Brisbane where I now lives. 
probably will be forever. <laughs> yeah. And then I work with the Sheraton. I continue working in the hotels. I work with the Sheraton uh, Brisbane for a couple of years. And then I went home to Malaysia for two years because my mom wasn't there. Ah. So then came back here for two years. And then Rachel was born. My firstborn was born. And then after that, when she was one, we came back into Brisbane. So okay. then came back to Brisbane. I did a couple of temping jobs. And then I worked for, because I think when we have a child, you want to do work-life balance. So yeah. I worked with the government. So yeah, so I've worked with the government. Queensland oh. Health for many years, for about 25 years now. So wow. probably next year, I'll be hanging out my boots. Yeah, because I worked 20, 40 years of my 60 years life. <laughs> so, so so next year, I'll be 60. Not retired yet? No. no. So probably next year, I should. What, what is the retirement age? There's no retirement age. You can still go on, actually. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. It, yeah, uh, yeah. Malaysia used to be 55, but now they've pushed yeah. it to 60. And then uh, yeah. they're complaining that there are not enough jobs for the young graduate. Yeah, la, you, you make people work longer. Yeah. <laughs> there are no jobs they yeah. can do. La. <laughs> but know, here, like, everybody keeps working. I mean, like, that's why it took me a long time to, to see whether I should retire. But, you know, it's like, well, you've worked 40 years of your 60 years life and I'm always working sitting now and I think it's time to do something different, you know, to, to not sit anymore because sitting is really bad for you. Oh. So, yeah, so all my work is always management, admin. So it's always sit down, sit down, sit down, you know. I think yeah. it's about time. Yeah, and also working 40 years, you know, giving 40 years, for me, it's like coming in here, I think I should give to the community. So, you know, it's like working, it's really good. So giving back to the community. And I think I've done my share, <laughs> you know, many years, 25 years working for prison health. I think that's that's good, good enough years. So I should yeah. go and do something else, uh, pursue something else. Yeah. yeah. So probably next year, I'll retire from this job. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That, well, uh, uh, that's good to hear that you've got some sort of plan, you know, instead of saying, oh, no, I'm, not, I'm just going to vegetate. <laughs> no. I, I don't know, I hesitated for a few times, you know, one thing to time. Yeah, so anyway, so I've got two kids. So Rachel was born in Penang. We brought her back here in uh, when she was one. Sure. And then, uh, yeah, and then three years later, then Marcus was born. So the two are now like, you know, 28 and 24 now. Seriously? Yeah. I, Rachel, you know, met them, yeah. The, I, I remember them sending me a photo of uh, a, a Sea World thing where they took a photo with this huge walrus thing, and I was kidding Marcus about being too fat and and uh, uh, mistaken mistakening the, the the walrus for him, and and then that, that uh, yeah I, I remember I remember that that, that photo uh, um, yeah I was kidding him about about being the the, the walrus, but uh, yeah oh my god it's not good yeah yeah time flies That's long ago. Hmm. Yeah, they remember that you you were doing magic tricks for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're 28 and 24. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so. Okay, I like some, some stories about a typical day um, in that shop house. Uh, you know, uh, do, do, do you We, get, okay. Yeah. As far as I can remember back, probably it's five, when I was about five, six years old, more with my dad. So we do a lot of things like that is a really nice dad, really gentle, very kind and loving. But anyway, and he's very creative. So he create toys for us to play. I remember what I can remember is that we were playing with this airplane. You know, it's like we play because we stay in the house now. We're not like we can go to the park. And so we were playing with this airplane where helicopter, we pull the string and let the helicopter go. It went up and crashed the lights, of course. Because <laughs> you play inside a house. And we used to even remember downstairs, we used to play badminton. Ah. Because, yeah, that's where we, we have no parks. Right? So we played yeah. because the house there, they're quite white, you know, it's like quite high ceiling. As a kid, you just play badminton in there. And then after that, sometimes bats comes in. And we use the bats as our badminton charter courts as well. Wag the bats and let it go. <laughs> yeah. 
So there, I mean, like there, we don't usually have parks or anything. So the neighborhood kids are our friends. So the next to us is uh, they sell the medicine. It's like a Chinese medical hall. So they import all the Chinese medicine herbs. And of course, they also have stacks and stacks of those Chinese herbs stacking. And for us kids, we play la. We play hide and seek or we play um, whatever games. And I remember one day I climbed and climbed up to the herbs, all the sacks of the herbs, and then fell down. And lucky thing fell down to where the grandmother's bed was. So I didn't die. <laughs> so like, where I fall into the bed. So it's like quite high. Stack means you stack up about like probably three meters high. Yeah, like still. <laughs> so we play things like this because that's what we do. We hang around and play things like that. Or we play card games, you know, it's like those family card games or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, all, hmm, that's our childhood days. You know, it's like we don't go to the parks much or whatever. So we do. I'm, I'm sure that, that, that there will be hawkers who will pass by the house. Who, who yes, used to, at night. So what, what hawkers were there? So we do have like the Bapao man. The one who sells the dumpling and no my kai. Yeah, so they sell. So they will be at night, will be those hawkers. So we are always full of like hawkers are there always at night. So that was something that at night means after dinner, you still can go and get just walk, walk for probably uh, 50 meters. You get hawkers' food, they sell uh, mi goreng. The mi goreng man will be there, mi rebus, and then the saho fan, you know, cha kui tiao. At night, you can all those, and then there will be the ting ting roti. So the roti man will come ting 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 ting. So you buy your bread. From, yeah. So not that you pick up from supermarket or bakeries now. Yeah? yeah. So those people will cycle with all their bread in there. And also behind my house, actually, like that long house that leads to Victoria Street. So behind Victoria Street, there, there is a Indian bakery, which is a like they are the one that actually distribute to all those little. Ting Ting Roti Man, you know, so those Roti Man will go and collect all their rotis from them. So that's that's actually one place that I really enjoy too. In the morning, you can go and wait and in the big oven, it's huge, huge oven that where they put all their bread in. So the oven could be like easily maybe about uh, three meters long, right? Yeah, and one one or one and a half meter high, those huge ovens, and they produce all those the bread. So we always get nice warm bread there. Yeah, uh, so we can always bread. morning time for us is always going up to buy hawker's food. There's so much hawker's food where I used to live. I'm quite lucky. So B Street is very long. So there's one side of it is the financial where all the banks and everything are, but our middle side is more of uh where the Chinese traders uh, are. So a lot of people are just doing trading and all those things. So then here is a lot of food. So that financial part by night is all quiet, but our side is, there's still a lot of food. So people will just buy. But also in my neighborhood, of course, down further down from Beach Street, you go further down, is where all the, the triads area. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you know? Yeah, so you have a lot of all those things over there too. So some of it, I guess, have come to our side. So sometimes, as a kid as well, um, you see drug dealers and you see them actually dealing with drugs on a bicycle and then you can see them holding something, passing it on each other. I remember one day in my car, I parked my car outside and I remember someone actually put something on top of my tires and then the next minute somebody cycled by, pick it up and off they go. Oh, I see. So you see things like that. Yeah, but if you don't disturb them, they don't disturb you. Okay, 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 okay. So my area is quite, not to say very notorious area, but like there are things like that going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so that opens right. your eyes to see things as well and to know where you should interfere, where you should not. You know, it's not yeah. about, oh, it's drug, there's drug dealing here. You report them. You know, it's like, yeah, maybe it's not a good, not as a good citizen that you're not reporting them, but sometimes in life, you know, things yeah. you have to just leave it as it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, the, 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 yeah. Sometimes it's just better to just let it let it be. It's, it's like part of the the maybe part of the culture. I I I I, I can say that it, it's not like it's it's really terrible where they're abducting children and they're also forcing um you know prostitution dance here and there and yeah. whatnot. 
So I think that then you have to put, try and put a stop there. But if it's just um, yeah, very small, then what 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 can you do anyway? You know, yeah. If you report one, the next one will come up. Yeah, you so know, this guy goes still, well. the next one will come up. You know, yeah, but anyway. Yeah, true as well. Yeah. Some things. I I I have to go and cycle there again. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. Is... Well, talking about bicycle, that's how me and my brother learned to ride. Because we only have one bicycle, my mom's old bicycle between us. So when we were young, and once you know how to cycle, right, we used to take our turns. Okay. So at night when it's quiet, then only mom will allow us to cycle. So we'll take our, our bicycle and we cycle all the way from my house, all the way down to where the uh, clock tower is. So into the financial district, because it's very quiet there. And then there's a big roundabout. So we'll cycle there and then we'll take our turns and I'll cycle back. And then my brother's turn to cycle, you know, and then come back just for the fun of it. Yeah. Cycling is, is funny. So over there as well, like on Ting Kong Se, you know, the uh, seven or eight day of Chinese New Year where people pray to the uh, heavenly God. The, the, the nine emperor gods, uh, is it? No, not the nine emperor, the heavenly god. I think on the seventh or eighth day of Chinese New Year, because it's very big for business people. Oh, okay. So along the roads there, people will set up like tables, high, high tables, and then they put sugar cane and then they will do their offerings. Sure. So then a lot of people will also let go firecrackers. Firecrackers. Okay. So yeah, so the yeah, so when we were kid, we used to because at night the street is alive with all these activities going on so we used to like to cycle around and then some people will put firecrackers and as time goes by their firecrackers actually can chase you so as you cycle the firecrackers chase you and you have to cycle as fast as you can <laughs> so that's like living yeah this is like growing up in in uh, chinatown that kind of lifestyle you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I can imagine. I think I think maybe the businesses also would would would, would release the firecrackers as a way to ward off bad luck and whatnot. So I can imagine how lively that street must be. It's all full of businesses, so it must be like yes. one 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 house one, one one shop lot one business after another. It's just you know going yeah yeah off. yeah. It's very very it's very. I don't know if it's still happening there. I would think so because it's like part of this businessman, um, you know, offerings to heavenly God. I think. Well, yeah, it, it, well, well it, if it's uh, fire crackers have been banned in, in Malaysia for a long, okay. long time, but people still, you know, they, they still bring it in and they, yeah, they, they, they do close an eye to, to it. You know, it, it used to be only the Chinese uh, uh, Chinese New Year will have Pang Pao, right? But now Hari, Hari Raya also people want to Pang Pao as well. So uh, uh, Deepa Bali also, you know, people want to play with fire, fire crackers and whatnot. So people do import them in. As far as I know, it's against the law, but um, it, it's so openly, you know. And, and what can you do? People are looking for extra income for the holidays. So mm. yeah, the authorities come also, you know, what, what the, you can shut down one or two, but again, you know, they will operate from the boot of the car. But I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't bother. I think, I think this is part of the festivity. I think it's better to educate the kampung kids not to play, not I mean, not to pull around with the fire because they, they would open the packets and then take out the, 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 yeah. the powders and then mix them up. So it's the mixing up which is a problem because different firecrackers do different things. Yeah, some explode and some just sparkle. So they, when they mix it up, mm -hmm. the exploding one with the sparkling one, then it becomes this huge, uh, then they'll lose their fingers like, and all that. Like. So mm -hmm. that's why it was yeah. banned many, many years ago. Like. Yeah. 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 So when we were growing up, Chinese New Year was fun. Lah. I mean, like one of the very fun things is like having ice cream when you guys come because that's the time that we always have ice cream, you know, and we always know and mom was like, we need to buy ice cream. Yes, <laughs> ice cream and longans and lychees, you know. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah to love, so your house is the only house. To to do. Do. And dad will always refer to your house as the ice cream house. So we know, oh, they ask you, auntie. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I know. I, we know which one. But again, like, you know, yeah. to, uh, just remember the ice cream. Yeah, we don't, don't know which direction which direction we are going to. We just know that it's that's the ice cream house. And then they always say ping ping coco. Are there ping ping coco is the one and then you always serve us the ice cream. So we know it's okay. This this house is ping coco. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh. See, so, sometimes like, I want little something, you know, that connects the family and you remember it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this, uh, yeah, yeah. Little um, yeah, little stories like that 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 are uh, 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 um, 
I, I, I have a I have a blog uh, which I put all these stories into. I think I, I, I gave it to you, right? The one. The, yeah, the, you gave me a blog, but I haven't got a chance to see all oh, of okay. them. Well, whenever, because it contains yeah. sides of my family from uh, my mom's side, the the Niao, the San Niao, and the the San Lim, which is what you you you'll be interested in the San Lim one because that's where you're connected to 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 me. Yeah. 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 So you you uh mm. you talk a lot about my grand uh my my Akpong, who uh I again lah. Nobody knows anything about him, uh, and um, uh, some very vague uh, uh, memories of him. Um, uh, and, and you know the the information I know I, I I have about him was from the archives. Can you believe that? Luckily, he he, he did some interesting things. You know, to 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 be mentioned in in the newspapers. If not, uh, that have no idea that he did this. And yeah. Did this. Yeah. 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 My then, mom, like uh, mom, mom is good in the sense that my mom like she used to tell us stories and actually spending a lot of time with your your grandma and my mom and they exchange old stories and that's where I hear a lot of funny funny old stories and then there's another one about my grandma because granddad always I mean he's always doing business right so he's always out and about so grandma spends a lot of the time and she actually does she loves to gamble so all her friends will come and gamble. But the minute my grandfather comes home, because granddad, he has private rickshaw that takes him to his work and he comes back. So he's like big boss, you know, got car, got rickshaw, private drivers. He came back, you know, everybody will scramble, right? Some will hide in the toilet. So until he, <laughs> he settled, he goes away. It's just like those shows, you know. Yeah, so I remember grandma loves to have, that's her company. La. And I remember she said the house is always full of people because granddad always feed people. I think in the old days, it's like, oh, yeah, whoever has nothing, oh, yeah, come, come, I feed everybody, you know. So the house is always full of people. I mean, I remember my mom has a very, I would think the way she described me, she has a very happy childhood, you know. It's like, even though she is very well, like, very well uh, provided for, of course, dad has everything, you know, but they are never spoke. And she used to say that even if she needs to change pencil, she used, the father will always say, can you show me your short pencil? So you got to show him that your pencil is like really this short. I need to buy a new pencil. Okay, okay, here you go. Here you go, go and buy a new pencil. And I think he's, I mean, granddad is also quite open-minded. Like he allows my mom to study, you know, which I think those times they wouldn't yeah. like mom. I think, yeah, mom had a great time. I was looking all through her photograph. Like she has a lot of fun. They go out together with their friends, group of friends. I could see all their photographs, you know. Yeah, probably that's why she married so late, you know. Ah. <laughs> She's probably... She marries when she was, I think, in her 30s something, which is quite unusual at that time, you know, because she yes. had so much fun going everywhere. And yeah, I remember she says they sit in the, at that time, they even have the Queen Elizabeth cruise ship ready. She cruised down with her mother to Singapore and things like that. We're like, oh, huh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And granddad must be doing quite well because, like, when he travels, apparently in the cruise ship, the captain has a captain table and he will eat with the captain on the captain table. I say, hmm, that must be good times then. <laughs> yeah. I, I, so she, yes. Yeah. yeah. She does have a pretty good childhood. Yeah. I, well, according to Pukong, the your granddad uh, uh, was a rich man. Uh, uh, yeah. And, he uh, and his father uh, was also a, a rich man. But uh, the Medan one, which is my, which is my Ama, uh, Linden Tengok's dad, yeah. Uh, yeah, he lost his fortune uh, after the war. So it seems the oh. Japanese uh, took away uh, everything. You see, it, uh, there was, uh, I remember he mentioned that he, he, their family had a petrol station as well. They were supplying petrol. And then uh, they are, it was just taken by, by, over by the Japanese. And then uh, after the war, they just couldn't recover uh, anything, uh, any of their wealth mm. back. And then, so that's why he now lives. Uh, he, yeah, he's, he's a... Uh, I would say that Hu Kong lives a very simple life. Lah. He, 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 he has um, work, work to he, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't even call, consider Hu Kong an average class. I think it's below average, I think. Yeah. The man mm. the man the man did all sorts of jobs that like, got from his story. Lah. He did all sorts of jobs. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, now he just and 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 he takes care of himself right now. He, 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 
I, I, I was surprised that he, he lives with his, uh, his son um, and the son is single. So the, the, he says he cooks for himself and then his son would, would work and then come home and have had have his dinner before coming home. So Kupong has to, has to find his own dinner. So he goes to the market, buys his own fish or whatever, and, and mm. masak sendiri, like, that kind of thing. Uh, so, but yeah, so, but he used to say like, that, that uh, his father was a rich man, uh, sending, uh, mm. sending Hatil Bumi to the, miss your grandpa. Uh, in, in, sister, in, in, the sister, yeah. the brother in Penang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know they do a lot of business, uh, because I think those times, like, you know, onions, those, Commodities are important, you know, things like salt, sugar, uh, rice, and uh, onions. Onions, for some reason, you know, it's like maybe it's very good or something. I have no reason, but a lot of people deal with those kind of things. It, maybe it, Malaysia people don't do onions. I don't know. I think do we onions, grow onions in Malaysia? Onions, I think, is considered a necessity item. It, so you, it, uh, in Malaysia, it's, I think it's the, the prices are co controlled. It's like rice, sugar, onions. Uh, these are the things that, are, that have controlled prices. The uh, oil was a, was another one. So recently, for a very long time, our the cooking oil was so cheap, but now they, uh, they increased it to twice the 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 old price. So it used to be one ringgit per kilo. Now it's two two ringgit per kilo, but it's still okay. It's it's not to yeah, say like yeah. yeah, it's it's um yeah cooking oil uh, so I, I I think onions is uh, probably something that one of the necessity I think yeah considered mm -hmm. necessity lah. Okay. I, I, I cannot think of any food that does not contain onion. Uh, like any any dish, mm -hmm. a Chinese dish lah. I think every dish right. Yeah. Also onion right. Yeah. Right. Onion and garlic lah. Yeah. Right. So fry curry also you use onion. Everything also you use onion. Yeah. But it's all I guess that you know those are the things that they deal with and they earn a lot of money out of that. Ah, okay. Yeah, but the, the, the other funny thing is, uh, yeah, it's people. I think only in, in, in for my side, the family, I think only Juan is the only businessman right now. Every, everybody else <laughs> is not. <laughs> yeah, we all work for mm. something. Yeah, every other cousin. I can yeah, see. we all just. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, uh, it's true my side too. Like, I, yeah, I, I, I think that this is a, a legacy from the British. So the, the British were, were, were very much into okay, send your kids to school kind of thing, and then you know, yeah, and then and then work work for work for us. That, 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 yeah, uh, be a estate manager or or or, or, or something mm -hmm. like that. But go to school and work work for for the British uh, um, government. So that mm -hmm. that was what we all aspired. I I mean my 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 fathers and all that. I think that's that's, yeah. that's where they got it from, lah. Yeah. 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 That's true. What um what 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 were some of your favorite foods when you uh when you were in Penang? Oh, you know what I love. Well, I love bachang kui. <laughs> no, bachang. Oh, I love bachang kui. Well, in terms of dishes, when I I eat, I don't eat very salty food. I I remember when uh, mom works, so a lot of time my brother and I stays at home. And my brother, because he's a scout, he's a quartermaster, so I say, okay, you can cook most of the time. So he <laughs> cooks for me as well, right? which is like good for me. But I actually like things like uh, sambal udang. And if you eat it with uh, uh, ba, you know, and I, I love your grandma's juhu cha. Oh, it's really yum. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I spent quite a lot, quite a lot of time in your grandma's house as well. Because mom used to take us. She has a lot of respect for your grandma as a big sister. So you know, so we spent a lot of time with her too. And then I remember your grandma's yuhu cha or tau yu bak. Oh, those were really really nice food. But those I I really loved those two food. And you know, like uh, what else? The original laksa. That is nice. The, 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 um, the asam laksa. La, asam. What else? The asam laksa. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But you see, the quality of food changes as years goes by. Like now, in our old days, we used to go for the ice kachang, you know, cat sing, ice kachang, and all those. Like nowadays, it's, it's different. Nowadays, that we, we go back, it's a bit different too. Yeah. yeah. 
No, but I, I love those uh, Nonya Baba's food. I love them. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. Loba. 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 Yes. Yes. Loba. Uh, uh, if, if my mother's uh, Loba recipe is on YouTube. So if you look ah. up my, yeah, my name and the word Loba, I think it's spelled L-O-R-B-A-K, Loba. So you can yeah. find her, her yeah. recipe. We, 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 Does we, mom cooks in there in the YouTube? Uh, she, she shows you like, what, what, what is this, but I think short of the frying part. So all wrapped up and all that, she shows it to you. Yeah, it, uh, yeah what, one day dad managed to convince oh, okay. to, 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 to do it. So yeah, mm -hmm. so it's up. And, and Ginger, Ginger is a sort of a YouTube star right now. He actually earns money from YouTube, this guy. He's a YouTuber? Yeah. yeah what does he yeah. do? Yeah, he, he, he does get a, a, a small income from YouTube every now and again. And, uh, he and his wife has now uh, gone into, as a hobby, they, 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 they started to do recipes and to put recipes online. And uh, people, yeah, he's got quite a good following. He's got several yeah. thousand people following, following him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so he, does he use the name Ginger Lin? Yes, he does use the name Ginger Lin. Okay. Yeah, so he just look, look, look all right. I'll look for for it. It. I know, yeah, this has got some, some good, good yeah. stuff, in, including his notorious kue cafe in an oven, uh, uh, in the toaster oven. So, oh. you know, the toaster oven, door open, oh. Oh. Cafe, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the yeah, in the toaster oven. <laughs> So, hey, that, that is a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. Because I, I remember doing that, but we have to use that quick up it things and it burns your hand as you take it out. Remember? Yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, uh and you don't you can't find because you very hard to find charcoal here. Yes, so that, so it's hard to do his, his, the toaster oven method. Yeah, so he also doesn't use the charcoal okay. thing, so he uses the toaster oven method, yeah, which is not because he, he's a, he, he was a air, he was flying, he is, right? So he's now still, he's still he's still with uh, MAS. As far as I know, he escaped their their VSS uh, uh, and and the, the chopping. Uh, you know they 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 were down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, So they they randomly picking uh, um, people just to downsize, oh. and he escaped that twice. And he so he's still oh. with MAS. Yeah, he's still with MAS. Lucky boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But uh, he, uh, he, he, he's a bit of a, like a survivor. He, so uh, right now he's like the IT guy. Like it's, it's, like so he's, it's something that is just totally not his thing. But, you know, they need somebody to do some IT thing. And he'll be like, okay, I, 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 I think I can do it. And, and he'll go and learn and, and, and how to do it. Yeah. So I suppose maybe that's, that's, that's why people, his company is keeping him, like, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, also, which also, is good yeah which is yeah which, which is so good yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i mean like when we you know when we were young we we're always taught like uh, yes you have to go and study and then you pursue a career and then you stick on to your career till the end of your life yes. but nowadays life is a little bit different right. you know? it's like yeah it's just you pick up a university degree is for you as just your basic of of how you kick off into the world and then after that, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, this is the... the and that's, the is now. that's how actually life should be. Yeah. No, actually, yeah. like, once you reach my age, which is six, almost 60, right, you look at life differently, you know? Like, uh, I mean, like, for me, my mom, my mom was, to me, is like, she's how we were brought up by her, even though dad passed away when, when I was only eight, and she brought us up all by herself. Yeah, and I mean, her way of thinking is really good. Like, the world is open there. Just go and do whatever you want. I'm always here. If you need me, I'm here. If anything goes. So just freely, you know, that's how I think you can just, you know, like you, you will grow and you grow happily. Yeah. You know? So that's why I always try to cook for the kids. It's like, just do whatever you want. As long as you don't hurt yourself, you don't hurt other people. Just go, do whatever you want. And that's the story of your life when you grow up. You know, when you grow old, that's the story of all the stupid things if you ever done. That's the story of your life, you know. The good things you have done. That's the story of your life, you know. Yeah. So like, um, don't be afraid. Just do whatever you want to do. The 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 the, the failures. Just forget them and just remember the the yeah. 
the, the good things, yeah. And you learn from your failures. You know, yeah, if you don't feel, true. it means that you never try. So at least you tried and it, hey, it didn't work out. So, oh well, it didn't work out for me. It may work for others people. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. I think, I think that, 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 uh, that, that, that is more important in, in, uh, in, in, in life, I think. I think, I think that, yeah. I, I, um, I, I really hope that these, these, uh, these kinds of, of, of stories like that you tell and, and yeah, so that it, it, when, when, when my, my cousins hear it, uh, hopefully they also think that, you know, hey, yeah, you know, our forefathers actually came from China and took a chance, you know, might have died along the way, but didn't. Yes, exactly. Yeah, might have died in Medan, but didn't, you know, might have died in Penang, but didn't. And then, you know, started, yeah, sure, you know, they, they, they rose and fell, but it's okay. It's a, we, we still got interesting stories uh, to, to, to listen to. I, I, yeah. Okay, I want to know, were you, were you a cheeky uh, kid when, 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 when you were growing up? Did you play any uh, tricks on anyone? Uh, well, except for that little hole, <laughs> which I told you. <laughs> <laughs> that was our that was really nice yeah of course we do I mean like I don't think I'm really bad I think I'm pretty good because pretty I think bad. because mom allows us the freedom to do what we want so we're never restricted to you know unable to do this or that so you don't really you just watch people it's like hey that's not good don't do that and you have got a couple of principles that you grew up with you know it's like do the right things and I think with that in mind, like you don't hurt other people and all those, you you have a boundary that you know how to stick on to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fun to make fun of people, but you must always remember that you're making fun of people may not mean anything to you, but yeah. for the other receiving side, it could be very bad for them. You know, it may bring a person down, which you don't know, you're happily, you know, happily away. Yeah. So I think with that in our mind, we always be, we are very careful. You know, yeah, we don't play tricks to just to a certain extent. And you've got to make sure the other side is okay. <laughs> okay, one. But we don't. Other, other. Yeah. I, I, I thought of asking you a, a, a memorable story when you were a kid. Yeah. 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 In the year 1970, there was a curfew, 13 of May. It was a, it was a curfew. I think there was some racial, uh, yeah. racial events happening. So I remember I loved to go to school, right? And I didn't believe, they say, you can't go to school. Why? They say, no, you can't go to school. Then they say, so I think they must have explained to me, but as a six, seven-year-old kid, you're like, I don't know, I just want to go to school. So that actually cycled out for a little while. And then he came back and he said, your school is closed. So I'm like, oh, school is closed. Okay, I can't go to school. So I don't know what he did, but he said, I cycled to your school, it's closed. <laughs> you know? So that was like, it's really nice of him to do that. <laughs> yeah. So a few things I remember. Now, of course, the day when he passed away, you know, that was a, uh, also a day that I do remember as well. You know, but I always remember him as a very kind, gentle, you know, uh, compassionate and I and he's a very gentle he's very gentle very gentleman he you know he doesn't speak much but he is a very soft-spoken man it's a very nice man so every time when things get a bit rough on me I always remember him and that feeling alone I think is good for me it stays with me still and that's really nice whereas mom is also the same she's very gentle and she always says like uh, you know people have their mouth they want to gossip let them gossip it's I mean, they also need to gossip and then gossip, but as long as it's not, you know, it's not the truth, it's fine. And we don't gossip about other people. So that's, yeah. so that's why I don't, why I don't talk much. <laughs> yeah, I think those are good values that I pick up. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to ask, uh, what, what did your mom teach in primary school? So mom, okay, so mom self-taught herself music. She loves music. And she yeah she actually has no music teacher i say so how did you learn music so apparently grandfather i think somebody must have owned owe him money owe him money for some reason so gave him a piano in exchange <laughs> so then mom says then she just started to play yeah and she is very good she could play a lot of beautiful music on the piano nobody taught her she doesn't need notes 
She's really good. So she teaches, yeah. So she teaches self. She, so she, uh, count, uh, she went to this school called Fukien, Fukien School, which is the Penang Chinese Girls High School in Penang, Pinghua. So that goes to Chongling, she goes to Pinghua. And then uh, I remember at that time, she said there was a typhoid going on, her reminiscence of her school days. Typhoid going on and people were dying in school. And then they all have like, when we have COVID, I thought of what that, you know. So then they had like water that everybody has to just drink from that water. So yeah, so she grew up in that school and then she became a school teacher. I actually have some pictures of her school. She loves teaching. She's always loved teaching. I'll show you the school. I collected some photographs that I thought, ah, and lucky thing she has lots of photographs too. And I thought, oh, that's really nice. But she has got like photos. Oh, this one was when she retires. See? Hang on, uh, the, the, your video is frozen. She retires. Wait, uh, uh, I, I, I don't see anything because your 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 video is frozen. Uh, you, you'll you'll will correct itself in a little while. Wait, uh, maybe if I turn off my video. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, uh, it's like a it's like a, a newspaper cutting. That's your mom, lah. Yes, yes. So that's when she retires. Oh. I saw one, one day I saw one of her picture with all her school students. Um, so she loves teaching. So anyway, so she, she uh, teaches in school and then she, yeah, she basically teaches in school. And I remember when, when uh, she was, was it? and she used to tell me that it's really funny because where she teaches is like those triads area, right? So those triads area, and then, yeah. Yeah, just like down the street from our street. Anyway, so, and then all her students, their parents sell fish, la, sells vegetables, la, you know, sell all those uh, like uh, cutleries and all those things. So she said when she goes to the market, hey, lao su, hey, lao su, you know, it's like, then you get cheaper fish, cheaper <laughs> cheaper vegetables and all those things. Yeah, so she's, she's a school teacher, yeah. So she teaches maths, Chinese and music. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. So where she goes to from her high school, they all have a must be that must be their teaching college or teaching school at that time. So once they graduate, they go out and teach. Right. So that that's mom's yeah. So she yeah teaching is her life. So that's a one and only career. Oh. Yeah. But when she was younger, well yeah, I mean she always loved her. her little nieces and nephews, especially her sister's children. Uh, Aitam, the Aitam are Ie children. Yeah, because she has got lots of kids. She's got like 12 kids. So yeah, the Aitam are Ie children. Yeah, she has 12 kids. So older ones, especially mom, does help to look after a few of them before. You can hardly remember. You know the Kaloxi Temple, remember that one? You know, Kaloxi Temple in Penang? Going to the Kaloxi Temple area, but... Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So I need to, need to go and find all these um, old relatives, you know? Yeah. 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 So that's, that's mom's sister. She, but she passed away already. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Be, be, be... So I am in contact with the youngest... Her okay. youngest daughter lives in Melbourne. Right. Yeah. That will be your cousin, so uh, right? Sure you. Yeah, that be my cousin because okay. our moms are sisters. Right. So you this this oh, so this was okay. This was my mom and dad when they got married. Ah uh -huh, okay. Right. I not see much. Right? So this was okay. So they lived they. The Vespa. This is the Vespa. They move around. Instead of a car, a Vespa. You see a Vespa? Yes. An old Vespa? Yes, yes. Motorcycle. Yeah. So mom used to say that dad used to, my dad used to carry her in this Vespa. <laughs> Even when she was pregnant, she also go on this Vespa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Vespa was uh, so a photograph of 
I, I, th- I think that th- that time uh, the Honda Cup was uh, was very new. I think at that time, so uh, yeah, so it was it was either the Vespa or or the, yeah. the Cup, yeah. And I think the Vespa was uh, more popular at, at that time, yeah. And and and, and then it's the the roles uh, switched. Because when you're pregnant, when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you need to be on Vespa. You need more space in between. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, nowadays the the Vespa is so expensive. Now it is so expensive. It's it's it, it's like the 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 Mini Cooper. It's 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 like um only a a, a yeah. like somebody would buy it. Yeah, if you had money, then you would buy. It. If not, you would just go with the old uh, Honda Cup. Yeah, still very very reliable yeah. uh, machine, but not the Vespa though. The Vespa the Vespa, uh, like I said, lah, it's it's like a status kind of thing, you know, that you have this classic um, motorcycle, but that that's about it. The reliability is not the Vespa's mm-hmm. middle name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, things yeah. nowadays are made not to last a long time. Yeah, lah, Yeah, yeah, lah, Which is kind of which is kind of a a, a big departure. A from, waste. Yeah. From when we when mom used to insist on buying ten wood only because it will last forever, you know. Last a long time. Yeah, but now no, you know. So now now those even those are good like ten wood and kitchen aid, they know that they are last a long time, so they charge you a lifetime good price, you know. <laughs> so instead of yeah, but it won't last a lifetime. But uh, um, last a long time. when they say it will last a lifetime, so what they mean is. You you will always be able to get it repaired and 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 whatnot and not uh, wait away to get a new one. That that's that's what uh, they mean. Yeah. Uh, so a kitchen aid uh or, or a Kenwood mixer will be around three thousand ringgit. Whereas if you buy a very similar looking but made out of plastic uh mixer, there will be something around uh, four hundred ringgit. So yeah. I think four hundred ringgit, I'll just throw it away and get a new one. And I'll get a few exactly. of. <laughs> get one, That's you know, right. One, one can work. Yeah, Mister. <laughs> See, it's a different. We have a different mentality now. Yeah, right? Right. Because, yeah. because if you have that, that one, you know, bacteria also harbor in there as well. So you're better off after a while. You're changing a new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh. and then, uh, yeah. That, and then the other thing is, uh, everybody wants this. The bells and whistles, like if you press this, this this light will come on, and therefore it will tell you. Have, have you seen this crazy thing called the thermo mix? I think it's I've the heard most, of it. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. I've 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 only seen the advert. It seems that it's a blender that can cook at the same time, which means that I heard you put everything in the blender does its thing and cook. The, the thing I'm thinking like how lazy can you be? <laughs> and, all the and, joy, all the joy of mixing is gone. Yeah, and 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 the other thing is, uh, it costs something like ten times or twenty times more than a, than a normal blender, which is just ridiculous. I I I I, I don't know. So I I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, some people mm-hmm. think it's, it's like oh, well, different different times, different times. Like we grew up in the year like nineteen seventies. I think the seventies is our time. Seventies, eighties. That's when we were growing up. 90, 70, 80, 90 is when we were all growing up. Yeah. So it's kind of like a little bit different, uh, Like uh, we were talking this morning because this morning we went for a walk and we were talking about how nowadays we all like to sleep late. How the young people like to sleep. Uh, late and wake up late in the morning so I said yeah you know when we were young we want to wake up early because we don't have social media so we want to go out and see our friends so the earlier you wake up the earlier you can get to go see your friends right (laughs) so it's a total different thing (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. it's the kids it's like you'll play online until late at night and then they'll see their friends later it's like nothing is wrong to it's a different era, different time. Like we used to once to go and watch a movie. I remember we walked yes. to the theater. We bought yes. thirty cents ticket, sit right at the front, and you know, it's like <laughs> yes, we were yes. looking at. Yes. We still go for thirty cents, you know. <laughs> yes. yes. Nowadays yes. you don't even need to. You just watch Netflix for free. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Not that yeah. young you people too. don't watch movies because that's the, the time they go dating. But if, if you if you not in that category of dating, then you just watch Netflix at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. So it's different, different era. You know, we grow up in a different era. I mean, it's yeah. like, I think nothing is right, nothing is wrong. It's a different yes. era. Things move differently. Yes. You know? yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> What what were your favorite subjects in uh, in school when when yeah when when you grow growing up? I love geography actually. Ah. Geography is interesting. History is interesting. I just don't like the exams. Yeah. Ex because it has got a lot of dates and all those names, the all the sultans' name were very yeah. very long. Yeah. So you can't remember that. So that's why I don't like. But I love listening to the stories of you know the his history of things. Yeah, I love geography because you learn about what other countries are like. Then you can imagine what it's like and all those things. Yeah. You know, yeah, I love those. Yeah. And then how you can connect, you know, the environment to how people make their living. That was good. Yeah, maths was good. I love maths, except when it becomes calculus and it's a bit hard. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's worse now. It, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I, I teach maths. It's worse yeah. now. Yeah, it, it's uh, uh, way worse. Um, because the, the world has changed like, like, like as you know so I, I tell my students the reason why is because the world has changed we, we are now talking about yeah. self-driving cars and uh, robots that can vacuum your house so uh, how does the robot know that there's a table there somebody needs to do that programming you know how does a car know that it yeah. needs to go in that direction and not this direction Somebody needs yeah. to, do, to do that programming, but that and that somebody's going to be yeah. you. Yeah, you you need to do it. You know. Yeah. So if you don't understand anything, then how how are you going to do it? Yeah. So I, I always tell my students there is a reason why you're learning all these things. Yes. <laughs> so if yes. you don't know how to do it, it means that you are not suitable for that kind of job. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's true, right? So like yeah. geography is nice. We learn about the glaciers. We learn about how you know the glaciers move from the top. Yes. and flows down so when yes. you go traveling you can you know you look at the glaciers and say, ah, i remember now i have to learn geography right yeah. and then when you go to another country what you have to dress up as and what will happen you know in lakes and also that's the reason why you learn when you were young but at that moment you're thinking what the hell i learned all this for <laughs> i mean can I learn about america what about learn about lake air you know yeah. i learned about the darling downs you know yeah yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. it's I, I used to enjoy those. To me, it's like taking me traveling. <laughs> it was like really good. Yeah. Oh, talking about traveling. See, my first, my first those time is very rarely you take a plane. My first plane ride was going to one of your uncle's house, Agiko, in KL. Ah, uh, uh, Agi, Agi. Uh, he passed yeah. away already. He I can't remember. It was the first time I took an aeroplane because right. we were going to his. I think with your grandma, I think. I can't remember right. who's, maybe someone's wedding or something. But I was so thrilled. It's the first time I ever take an aeroplane. <laughs> I right. remember going right. to your uncle's house. <laughs> were, were you, uh, were you a young girl like in primary school? Uh, maybe lower secondary, I think. Lower secondary. I can't so remember whose wedding, whose wedding. Whose wedding, who's wedding well, it could be. I, mean, I can't remember. Could be a girl. A girl. Cannot be Toko. A Toko. No, Toko. No. Who yeah. got married in case? Asianko. Maybe Asianko. Yes. Asianko. Yeah, Your say, uncle. The youngest be, uncle. The youngest uncle. It could be. It yes. Could be the yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. I remember uh, that. Yeah, he had, he had his, 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 his wedding in KL. So I'll go to that yes. one. Uh, my other suggestion, yeah. I, yeah, uh, um, his son, uh, Ken, Ken V, is here in KL. I think he works with IBM, if not mistaken. Ken Yu, the younger one, is in the US. Um, uh, yeah, I think he's also in IT, if, 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 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and they, they have their own children as well. So that's... Uh, um oh, so yeah they're doing what uh and uh asyang uh i call him a check lah uh asyang check just had an operation uh mm -hmm. yeah just had an operation but he he he's he recovering lah recovered lah yeah yeah i mean i also remember times that uh 
a lot a local so your yeah. eldest yeah. uncle right yeah, yeah so local he used to live in the teaching college Correct. and we used to go there as well and i used yeah. to remember he plays his aero model aeroplane yes as a little kid i remember that part of it as well yes. Yes. you know spending yes. time with him doing uh, that yeah yes yes, yes. Uh, uh, so like all the uncles and aunties are like kind of like my extended you know brother sister because the, i definitely uh, and my brother right and uh, then like you guys you guys are like so little <laughs> you know but still <laughs> yeah, yeah, so i remember it, times with him as well uh, and i uh, remember time spending in your grandma's house especially with uh Pinsay and yes. the Jillian and what's Jillian's little sister's name? Huh? Little sister is Mei Mei. Jillian's little sister. Mei Mei. Yeah, yeah. So I remember we got with yeah. you. So we yes. used to spend, we used to go there on the weekend. So we all would used to play with them all. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. So I spent a lot of time in your grandma, Lin Yan Tengbo's house too. <laughs> yeah, the house is gone now. It yeah. now belongs to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, kind of a, a, a sad uh, a story that one. Uh, but never mind. Yeah, um, yeah things happen. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Uh, pin okay. uh, four, pin six four. It's it's here in 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 uh just just she, she lives in the outskirts of KL. Uh, in a small uh -huh. yeah in a small town. Uh, it's yeah. Like a, yeah. Uh, Jillian, children. She lives in KL too. Huh? Yeah, she lives in KL. Um and um uh Mei is, is still in Penang. Mei Mei is in Penang. Oh she's in Penang. Uh. Alo, yeah, I can't remember her. Yeah. Alo, Alo. That, that, that would be my quartet. Uh, yeah, yep. He he is with uh his children in Melbourne or Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah, Adelaide, right? Uh, with, yeah. Boho, Boho, right? Boho yes, Boho and Billion. Uh, and Billion, yeah, 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 in Australia. Yeah. 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 So are they? Uh, tua, so Tuapet and uh, mm. also there, nah? Yes. Yes. They migrated there, or they are just there for? Place? I think they 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 have a long stay visa or something like that, like, because their 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 children uh, uh, are there, and and they yeah. are, I think they are, they are senior citizens. So Australia loves senior citizens who can come. You don't work. You bring in money. That's okay. Come, come, yeah. come. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. it's not so easy. That I think it's easy. No, no, no. I think Pohok is in Sydney, right? I think Billion is in Billion is Adelaide. In, in Adelaide, yeah, yeah. So I, I should I, go and visit them because I wanted to go to Adelaide next year. Ah, ah. Yeah, so maybe you can see uh, uh your topic. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll talk with you later on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I. Yeah. I've been waiting to to talk to him uh to see what stories he can tell me, but uh because he hasn't been coming back to to Penang, I I, I thought the right thing is to when he's in Penang, the right thing is to go to Penang and talk to him and not not have this this Zoom thing. You know, we only do this Zoom Easy. thing. Unless, yeah, or old people. It is like 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 when when I was talking to GPEC, I said we can do you know online thing. No idea, you know. So I thought, okay, I'll I'll, I'll come over to your house and <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I'll put the camera there and let just let him talk. Yeah. So he was telling yeah, me yeah. uh stories about his uh, how he went to school and and how he used to play tricks on 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 uh, the coolies and whatnot. <laughs> what a naughty boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we used to go to school in a rickshaw. You or he? I used to go to school in a rickshaw. Right, right. In a primary school, and you should see how many how many kids that rickshaw fella can stack us up. So right. two of us on the chair, right. you know, rich, you know how it all looks like, right? Okay, yeah. Two seats on the chair, and two will hang their feet sitting on the bottom. At the front, and hang yep. their feet. You hang your feet. Yeah. So that's two and four, all right? And okay. two were hang where that guy is holding the rickshaw. So it's six of us. How how does the other two sit on that the handlebar thing? Yeah. yeah. Really? So the hang, hang on the handlebar and then the rickshaw will go. Oh, with the, the, we all had fun. the, the, the top would, would be down. So they were the uh, I think last time is the last time the rickshaw. 
Okay, last time the rickshaw. Okay, look. So this is the rickshaw, for example, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So one, two will sit one here, one here, and then right. one will sit here and hang the feet down. The other will sit here and hang the feet down. And then the rickshaw fella, his uh, rickshaw last time, their handle is like one go yes. down. No. Yes. 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 So it's one hang on here and one can sit on. Last time the, last time the. Let me see how. Uh, let me see. Say for example the rickshaw. Last time the rickshaw handle is like that. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I hold like that and he, right, and then this thing is connected to the rickshaw. So that right. one kid will hang on here, will sit down here, one will sit down here. So six of us in the rickshaw, <laughs> the rickshaw will go. But the, the, the legs hang outside the rickshaw or inside the rickshaw? The, the ones who are in the, on the handlebar? Inside. 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 Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try inside. and draw that. So he's like, so his rickshaw that I don't know how, but his rickshaw handle is like that one. Yes, yes, so I know that. The whole round. Yeah. Yes. So yes. so one can sit the leg hanging inside, hanging inside, then the rickshaw fellow be in the middle. Right. Right. And then then the rickshaw is in front. The other four seats. You go like that, okay. and then if you see at the front, the bus comes, they smell all the smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exhaust, all the exhaust. Yes. The yes, back in those days, the, 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 the rickety bus. I know, I know, I know. Now the buses and then, are, are and then we all, yeah, and we thought that it is a luxury to sit on the rickshaw's handle, so right. people will try to want to sit on the rickshaw's handle. <laughs> Right, right. So we all take turns. Ah. Sometimes you see, I sit, you see. Ah. Like how dangerous it is. Yeah, how dangerous it is. The rickshaw whack onto the vehicle in front, you smash. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but you know, that it, it, it's true, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like uh, uh, in the basketball, ah, everybody wants to try and stand on the step. Even though you had a kid, <laughs> everybody will want to stand on the step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody looks so cool hanging on the step, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's the most dangerous place. And then the, the bus driver always yell at you. He would yell once, and then, then nobody would care. And then, uh, okay, like, I already told you all this. Yeah. That is your problem, like, you know? Yeah, but everybody would, 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 would want to, 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 to stand at that, 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 that step. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, hey, yeah, you should draw into your cartoon, you know? Yeah, how, I'll, how try, I'll try. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll try. I'll try and draw. draw Draw it out. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. 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 I I I sat on the rickshaw as well when I was going to kindergarten, but I was the only person in the rickshaw. So uh, the rickshaw used to send me to, to the kindergarten. <laughs> the luxurious one, you see. <laughs> yeah, I only had one 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 person. But this sixth one is the first first I've I've heard of, and I've never seen a photo of of that or, or even pictures of of that. You know. So yeah, interesting. Interesting, yeah. I should, I should, I should draw. Long yeah. time ago, though. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, what that was when I was probably seven. That's like fifty years ago. Uh, uh, yeah. I think back, that's back, about fifty years ago. <laughs> back in the day, is different. You know, where the the yeah. I, Not I, so many. Uh, I, I was telling uh, uh Paprika when when she uh, started to go to school. I, I gave her one ringgit and I thought there was a lot of money because I got only 20 cents right? so I gave her one ringgit and the first the first day of school she came back with that one ringgit and I said why didn't you buy something and to eat in your during your recess time she said not enough <laughs> one ringgit no, not enough no. Why minimal things? <laughs> yeah, minimal, minimal things. Yeah, uh, and then, but and then, uh, oh uh, but for for them, they, they, she was saying that uh, she prefers not to not to eat in the cafe. She prefer, prefers to go and play with her, her friend. And so they, they they take some some bun or whatever to go to school. So okay lah, since you you like that, then then fine lah, you know. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I had good memories of, of the canteen food. What, 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 what were your memories of, of your school canteen food? Yeah, school canteen food, I think was pretty good. Uh, I just remember the smell of, because you remember how we always, I don't know your time, but our time, there's always the Muslim and non-Muslim side. So the Muslim, yeah, so the Muslim food, they always have a very strong smell of like, I don't know, coconut oil or something, which I don't quite like. So I always remember by when it's almost canteen, smell will come and I don't know the smell. But if not, the food are quite fine. I'm like, you just buy one little bowl, 20 cents, I think, or 30 cents. Uh, I just can't remember eating much in school though. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember those strong coconut smell from the from the it, it, it can't be 20 cents. When I was when I was in school, uh one small bowl of noodles, uh, <laughs> and this would be either with the the soup, the non-spicy soup or the curry, the curry, the curry me curry mie soup, okay, with possibly five cents of noodles, there was five cents. If you wanted a bigger bowl, that was uh, with probably with ten cents of noodles, that was cheap uh, uh, That one I I remember because I only got twenty cents, so I will buy the five cents noodles, and then they will pour the soup, and then we will have to drink the entire soup lah because if not you cannot be full right? And then uh, five cents to buy yeah. the uh, um, triangular kuih kape, which yeah. has which had money inside uh -huh. it, you were lucky that they had a little yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. newspaper thing. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, so it, it can't be it can't be no point. It, had, it, it, it probably got away. Yeah. Maybe 20 cents buy you everything, maybe. Yeah, to buy everything. Drink, so you drink. get a drink, you get a, a noodle, maybe noodle? And something else, maybe five five cents or ten cents each of each. Yeah, yeah, because that, that I was actually my, can't remember my thing, yeah. yeah I so can't I, remember. I, Probably for the 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 the, the small noodles. noodles I eat, but think back, I, 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 they probably had only five cents of the, the yellow noodle, five cents for five cents for a cold drink, and then I had two five cents left over. A quick cafe. I spent it uh, to buy that that that, that triangular quick cafe, or I, I could spend it after school. So I would buy two of that that triangular quick cafe uh, after school. Yeah. So it's twenty cents. Could be then. Yeah, I don't actually. I don't quite remember much about food. I only thing I can remember is that strong smell of like coconut oil. That's oh. all I can remember. I can remember of course after school we always like to buy the hepnia. You know, it's like five cents each, very big one. That's my favorite. Maybe right. I still survive on that. Perhaps <laughs> a, a, a huge cracker, right? Yeah, about this big. The yeah. hepnia. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I do remember that one. I do remember that. But I, I, I it wasn't something I, I, I would buy. I, I would buy that triangular quick cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big one, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Twisties oh. came out uh, around that time as well. Uh, oh. Yeah. Duoplo Sen or something like that. But I, 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 I think it, was, it started off with 10 cents. I think. What? 10 cents for a packet of Twisties. Yeah. Oh. And then. Probably. Yeah, and then it became 20 cents, and then it was 20 cents for like the longest time ever. The packet got smaller and smaller and smaller because <laughs> the parents used to buy 20 cents in school, so they used to complain that how come my children have to pay more for twisties. So yeah, for a long time. I, I, I met the uh, somebody related to the twisties company family. So she explained that, yeah, it, it was we just had to keep it at 20 cents because if not, the kids would just would not buy. So over two generations, it was 20 cents, but the packet became so tiny. It was just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think maybe food wasn't a very major component of my life in, right. in, during the days. So I never really think much about food until, you know, in the teenagers years when I really like to eat a lot of rice and dishes. Right. That's when I start. oh yeah, food is good to eat, you know. It's like, I, I enjoy cornflakes when I was young. I remember mom always gives us cornflakes. Cornflakes oh. and milk. That was really nice. So to me, cornflakes and milk. Uh, toasty bread with kaya. All right. I grew up with things like that. And then I remember uh, mom will always cook for me oats. And I take oats with um, pomfret. 
So mom will always do oats and then she will fry pomfret for me in the morning. She'll put a bit of like uh, the black sauce or tau yu and then put some um, pepper for me. So that I will eat my oats with that. And people say, how weird. People take it with sweet, like milk or honey. Yes. You know, I'm like, no, yes. I really enjoy this. <laughs> Did you say cornbread? No, no, no. Pomfret. You know the fish? Pomfret? The fish. The fish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fish. So it's actually savory for me in the morning. Because the right. school bus. <laughs> yeah. So at some, stage, at some stage, I go to school with the school bus. And we start off very early in the morning. Right. And uh, so the school bus will come, I think, about 6 or 6.30. So right, mom right. will always wake up, make the oats for me, jam the fish for me, you know, and then put that. I'm like, mm, yeah. So that's nice breakfast to go to school. Right. So I right. think because we do that and we don't really eat much at school because you have a good breakfast in the morning. Yeah. 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 And then you come home. Yeah, you come home. But because mom goes to school, so she caters a lot of those tiffin carrier food ready for us. Right. Sure. Yeah. Sure, so when sure. we come home from school, we just do that. Yeah, but I grew up with, uh, not to say servants, but people who will clean the house and who will, um, who will iron and wash your clothes all ready for you. So okay. like, you don't do much of it. Yeah. Yeah. Last time we had the the, the Assam who come, and, and, and yeah, yeah. My, my, yeah, my grandma, my grandma had a washing lady uh, uh, to wash clothes for many years, and then even after she got the washing machine, the lady still had a job with 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 grandma. Uh, this will be uh, my mother's side one, not the Linden Ting Road one. So the lady still came to wash clothes, even though there was a washing machine sitting next to, to that lady. <laughs> the weirdest thing. Yeah, new washing machine that was hardly ever used. <laughs> yeah, it was only okay, used that's... when the lady uh, retired, the, when the old washing clothes lady retired, <laughs> finally, after many years, then only my grandma started to use that, that washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> Strangest thing ever, yeah. <laughs> but it's really funny too, right? Because I grew up with people doing my clothes ready, and I used to remember sitting down and watching the iron lady, the lady uh, 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 ironing clothes. Yeah. And, and I used to really admire, say, my God, how did you do from crumbled clothes? And then now my clothes become so straight and nice, right? Yeah. So anyway, so I grew up watching how she does it and everything. And then when I came to Australia, when you have to do it alone by yourself, and you finish doing it, I'm like. Gee, I could do it too. <laughs> so I enjoy doing housework when I first came into Australia. I'm like, hey, there's so many things I did. There is that satisfaction of it, you know, doing yeah. that. It's a bit crazy, yeah. but that's what said some, you know, <laughs> simple thing makes life so happy. <laughs> it's like yeah, 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 doing yeah, housework yeah. at that time, at that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, then your, your Chinese New Year uh, dinner, where, where, where did you have your, your, your reunion dinner? For us, we always have it. No, we always just have it amongst ourselves. So there's only my mom, myself, and my brother. Right. So we always have it by ourselves. Yeah. So uh, until then, when I start to work in, in the hotel, then I used to just, so mom don't have to cook. We just order and have it. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. Our Chinese we don't really have Because we, uh, uh, my dad, uh, my Linden Tengok Sama, she's got nine children. So you can imagine nine children with all the grandchildren would be at, yeah. at her house. Yeah. Uh, her house would be the uh, morning after, I think, the morning after. Uh, uh, but yeah. the, the dinners would be, yeah, uh, um, I would be at my mom's uh, side of the family, I think. And then, and then uh, we'll, we'll converge again uh, in, in the morning. It's the first day. Lah. Yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we, 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 it was really loud drop. Lah. And then, um, uh, Agi, you would call Agi Ko, ah, the, the KL uh, doctor. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the, I think the second night or, or, or something like that, um, if we, if we, when, when, when we were not in Penang, when, when, when we were, you know, um, uh, when, when Ama, Lilian Tengro Ama was a, a bit old, and then she, she also had, um, also moved to KL, I think. Yeah, so. We, 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 we will have it at his house. So second day, night, yeah, we'll have it at his house. And that, that, that carried on uh, until, yeah. until, I think recently, then only we, we, we stopped. Who, whoever could, could make it, 
would be at his house on the second day of Chinese New Year. Yeah, yeah. So we will just just whatever was uh, available, uh, Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I it's actually nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to keep the tradition going, and yeah. I think a lot of times you can keep the tradition going when there are many of you, but yes. when there's few of you, you know, then it tends to like over here because Ronnie has a family of six, you know, like brothers and sisters. Right. So, so we used to gather with his mom. So that's like you said, you know, it's nice. Then the kids and the grandkids and all are always there together. Yeah. But now, now that her mom has, his mom has passed away, sometimes we do it among a few, but also then because over here is different because they all have to work. It's a normal working days for all the other younger generations. So right. if they are interstate, some of them will try to come back. But if right. they can't, then they can't. You know? right. So then we will still try to keep the tradition, but they remember. For example, Rachel, when she's in Melbourne, she couldn't get back here. She remembers she'll wear red when she goes to work. Uh, you know? and she said, be so proud of me because yes. they remember all those things. Yeah, so I think it's good you keep, I think keep the tra tradition alive for them, you know, yeah. But I suppose over there in Malaysia, it's easier because everybody does it. Yeah, but over here, it's like, we do it as much as we can, but surprisingly, like people from China, some of them don't even celebrate it, which is rather sad, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So like we take the time off, like for me, also, if I can take time off work, I will always take time off work. And that's probably because Ronnie's mom is here. Right. She was here. So we will always, you know, go pay respect for, with her and yeah. then with the kids, you know, they can see the tradition going on, you know, how you, you take oranges to to the elders and all those things and they know they have seen everything so it's good for them that it's in their you know they know their roots so i think it's important that the younger generation knows the roots very yeah. important and you also you don't feel lost you know you know that you have your roots that's how it is so i always yeah. tell the kids especially our generation the boys i say hey you guys have got dna's businessmen dna work hard to survive <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 but it, but now this generation also, I think we have to balance it up a little bit from them. If things have moved on, you know, it's a different era. You know, yes, yes you work hard, but work hard, work smart, and you also need a bit of good luck. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. yes, true. It's true. You got you got to have a bit of good luck. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But okay, yeah. like, You know, I think I think everybody will just find their their own their own path in in, in yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. I think it's okay, like, Don't. Um, I during the pandemic, I I asked uh, among the cousins that uh, we have a WhatsApp group. We, we're not very active, but I did ask uh, once or twice if anybody needed any help. Uh, just say something uh, you know, and then we, yeah, we'll, yeah. yeah. But no, no one, no one, no one needed any help. So I think that that's okay uh, You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that's why I thought Malaysia had this white flag movement. I heard of. I thought yeah. that was really, really yeah. good. very, very. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Pe people were just uh, suffering in silence, which is yeah. Uh, um, because this is so what you know, like our culture. We were taught. We were brought up like that. You know, mm -hmm. we don't reach out. You know, whereas here in you know Western culture is a little bit different. You reach out whether whether you you need it or not. You just keep reaching out, which is not good either. You know, like yeah. it's taking advantage of society that actually yeah. needs it. So, so the balance of both, but that's yeah. yeah. You got to mm -hmm. got to be a bit a bit smart as well, uh, um, um, Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, lah, Um, it is it is a very trying. The, the the past year and this year has been very very trying, uh, for a lot of people. Some yeah, some some got still have their job, so that's great. Uh, but I I I, I always tell everybody that if you if you can survive, that I think that 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 that's okay already because. Um, yeah, the, the, it will it will get better uh, now. Now now that we, everybody's vaccinated or going to be vaccinated, so I think that uh, that's also a plus point. Now. Yeah, Malaysia is talking about opening its borders in first of November. I I think it's impossible. I think it's closer to first December, uh, but they want to do it at the end of the year because that's the school holidays. That's the time when people do want to travel. You know, so they are they are talking about. Uh, bilateral relations uh, agreements, bilateral agreements between Malaysia and Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia, Malaysia and Laos, where 
if you are double dose, you can come to our country, no quarantine. And if we are double dose, we can go to your country, no quarantine. So they're talking about that. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't I don't know until the agreement is reached. No, no traveling yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think safely probably end of next year. Yeah. You know, if you really want to travel, if, I think totally safe will be end of next year. But the following, yeah. Yeah, but right now, like hotels, uh, they're shutting down and um, quite sad to see the, even the big hotels, you know, if I'm not mistaken, Golden Sands is, is, uh, uh, is, is in trouble uh, uh, mm. financially. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think Holiday Inn or, or, or something in Penang, uh, Tutok already come, come yeah. 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 It's sad, so sad to see so many hotels gone. But you never imagine in the wildest dream that things yeah. like that can happen. Yeah, yeah. But um, mm. yeah, I think everybody, I, I know that America had been warned about it and they've been warning uh, the world that such a thing could happen. Like uh, people you, are, are digging out uh, Bill Gates' uh, warning. Uh, he, 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 he did warn that such, such a thing could happen. But everybody kept thinking it will probably be in the distant future, you know. Um, yeah, but who would have guessed that it, it, it would happen so so soon, you know? Yeah, mm. but never mind. But this now. is kind of, you know, this is kind of like the world. Uh, it's a natural way of cleansing the world because nobody could cleanse it. Yeah. I, to me, that this is a nat nature's way of cleansing the world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, yeah. You know, it's it's no one can do it. Nobody can do it. But this small little tiny dot, whatever yeah, it yeah. is. No? Yeah. yeah, just take, I, I, takes I, I, it and the whole world just bend to its knees and yeah, yeah. the world cleans up for a little while and yeah. hopefully yeah. things will get back. Don't know why I hear a lot of fake things. La. This is this yeah. is new medicine coming up. La, what, la. You know, I don't know. Yeah. You don't know what is fake, right? Yeah, uh, well, until until it's proven, um, then we, we just listen and, and that, that's about it. You know, just, just listen yeah, and yeah. that's all. Yeah, you... you, you if not, uh, you have all these other other um, so-called cures. Lah. And then you also don't know whether it's true or not. Is it an anecdotal kind of cures or is it really proven yeah. cures? So again, so just listen and then say, okay, lah, you know. <laughs> this will be hey, this is your this is uh, what you have to pass to Paprika. In 20 years' time, Paprika will be the one asking people about what was life during yeah. the pandemic time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It, 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 it's, it's a bit like when, when, when you just you, you mentioned that you lived through the May 13, May 13 riot, yeah. yeah. So, so, again, yeah, again, uh, how, how you, you would never have guessed that, that Malaysia actually went through lockdown before, but it yeah. did during May 13, schools were closed and you just couldn't oh. go out. Of your house. I forgot to tell you, so May 13. My experience of May 13 is, yes, I was that little kid. And because our house is very long, right? Remember I told you, stretch from Beach Street to Victoria Street. So as a young kid, of course, you want to know what's happening because the FRUs were actually on the road. They were patrolling the road because it is curfew. Yes. But being young and inquisitive, you open the window to have a look, yeah. right? You're not supposed to open it. You open the window, they will throw tear gas into you. Right. And I think we, we got... <laughs> we got about of the tear gas thrown into our shop. But because our lucky thing, our house is so long. So we all went to the back. Right. To the back of <laughs> run all the way to the other side of the road. Yeah. So that was May 13. That was my experience. I remember smelling the tear gas, but we ran ran to the back of the house, which is so long. Lucky thing, lucky. I don't know if it's short. I don't know what happened, but you know. Yeah. It was quite I mean, that was a scary moment. But when you were young, you were like, yeah. It was quite fun. It's like, what is happening out there? You need to see what's yeah, happening yeah. out there without knowing the danger part of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, the, 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 the riots only happened uh, main, mainly in uh, Penang and KL. Uh, yes. Other, the other uh, uh, cities like Johor, Kuantan, uh, Kota Baru, uh, Tanga and, and, and Ipoh, uh, not much. In fact, the East Coast side, really quiet. Like, they had no, no idea that, that there was this big riot happening in the West Coast uh, of, of, uh, of, of Malaya at that time. Yeah, you know, it was a political thing. 
I, I've, I've written I've written some articles about it. Yeah, but it, from mm. my understanding, it was a very po political thing. It wasn't. It was not a race uh, riot. Although uh, right now they call it a race riot, and and I think the policy political parties are using it to keep the races in check. So they always scare you by saying, "Oh, another made the dinner." Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it was a very a very political thing. Uh, but but never yeah. mind. This, this is our country, lah, Malaysia. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a. I mean, to me, Malaysia is a very nice country. You know, like the way my experience, my my memory of Malaysia was really nice. My growing up years, you know, multiracial in mm. school, very multiracial. We mix around. We have no nothing against each other. The only thing I remember is that never touched the Malays, Malay girls head because to them it's taboo. Don't touch their head. I remember a friend who always eats and she will just close her food up. So after a while, you, you respect that. You just automatically respect yeah, that. Yeah. Hey, don't touch my head. Okay, don't touch my head. You know, it's like no big thing about it. Like you don't, don't go and disturb people. If people say, don't touch. Okay, don't touch. That's their culture. Leave it. That's people's culture. Respect that. You know, yeah. So everybody just know how to respect each other. So that yeah. was really nice. So when I first came to Australia, I really said, Malaysia is a beautiful country. We are very multiracial. We live together in harmony. And that's the beauty of Malaysia. You know, yeah. I always tell people that, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. in certain way, it is still the same if there is no particularly anyone who is, you know, very, um, uh, very, say, very racial. I, I think it's still quite all right, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I only go back once every once in a while. And, but I still think Malaysia is a beautiful country. It, 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 it is. It's the... the, the... Uh, like like everybody knows now that uh, we only bring up this made the thin thing uh, to scare the voters when it's time for voting. So every four or five years when we have our general election, then this made the thin thing will come up. This Chinese are taking over uh, Malay uh, opportunities and 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 uh, you you will come up lah. But at, at any other time, it 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 does not. People lah. don't care. <laughs> Yeah, 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 nobody, no, yeah. But you want to get the Malay votes, this is the way to get Malay votes. Huh? You, you, this, mm. we, now we know. Uh, but, uh, yeah. down, I think down to our generation, we know that. But like down to your children's generation, but because generation, they don't care. It's like what made the thing here? Like what, you know, to them it's like nothing. You talk about something that's far away, long yeah. time ago, it probably won't affect them anymore. It's only to our generation because we live through that. You know, if not after that, I don't think. No, I think it will still affect them. If if the polit politicians keep playing this game, then it will affect them, because uh, the 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 in the rural uh, uh, areas where the where the, the rural voters they, they only understand this thing that you know uh, Malays must be protected and uh, Malays are, are being threatened. Uh, uh, you know that uh, yeah we have to be cautious mm -hmm. of this because they they are, they are mm -hmm. fed this kind of thing. Yeah, despite uh, yeah, despite uh, you telling them uh, otherwise, you no, know, Malays mm -hmm. are being 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 threatened. Uh, Islam is is still uh, under siege, and and when they are they're, they're being fed this kind of thing, the the ustad, uh, the Malay the, the the religious teachers tell them tell them this all the time. Uh, the politicians tell them this this all the time. So what 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 can you do? You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Despite us have been in the modern. Age where they can actually look for the information themselves, but they don't. They will. They will still believe what they are told. So and then they are told mm -hmm. these kinds of things. So unfortunately, yeah. yeah. And 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 uh, their votes really matter. Yeah, it really yeah. really does. Yeah, it really does. So uh, yeah, yeah no, you have no, you have no choice. You 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 can win. Uh, uh your your MP can win. Uh, at, at your place, but there are not enough MPs to. To yeah. control the, the 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 country or the state, yeah. so you have no choice. Yeah, yeah. you have you have to play, play this game. Yeah, no no choice lah. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately mm. lah. But but uh, if yeah, yeah. If, 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 if it can be changed, it'd be great. But unfortunately, yeah. I don't I don't see it like in the in the near future. Not in the probably not in the short term. Yeah, but I, I don't think in the long term also lah. It, it, it has to be the very long term. Yeah it, yeah we we always we always say that this generation needs to pass away. But yeah, the new generation from from Tun Razak time, 
and now his son Rajit is it, still the same thing. Yeah, it's still the same thing. The, this uh, um, uh, ha having Bumi uh, equity came from from uh, Raza's time. This this is the, yeah. the reason why Robert Kwok uh, doesn't have his his operations in Malaysia and he moved it to Hong Kong was because of uh, 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 Tun Raza. Tun mm -hmm. Raza just told him, you know, you you've got to give shares to 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 the Malays. If not, the Malays will start this quiet thing again. This made the same thing will happen again. So mm -hmm. in the end, the thought, okay, to hell with you guys. I'm just going to go straight to Hong Kong. And, 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 and that's where it's been all this time. He's kept his, his citizenship. Uh, yeah, but operation-wise, business-wise, Hong Kong. Yeah, this, this is the reason. Mm -hmm. and, and what has Najib done to do it, uh, to, to, to reverse it? Nothing. Yeah. In fact, isn't that last year because of... Uh that issue as well. That's why he moved his palm oil operation into Indonesia now. Yeah, yeah. Sold yeah. it all because just, he, his palm just, oil and I think sugar is it? He's moved them all across. Sugar, yeah. Just uh, uh, sugar and palm oil. He, he sold everything. Uh, yeah. uh, now over the years, he sold it. Uh, to yeah. so now it's, it's, he's he's no longer the sugar king of Malaysia. He's now the sugar yeah. king of, of Indonesia. Indonesia, yeah. yeah. So I heard because of political things so he has shifted yeah. and it benefits Indonesia yeah. so it's a waste of it. according to his memoir I, 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 I only read uh, ex excerpts of it but you can find this ex excerpt uh, uh, online uh, he, yeah he said that when, when when he did his shipping company when he won the, the shipping uh, 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 contract uh, um, the Malays were just not happy so they, they went to, to see Tun Raza and because he was friends with Tun Raza so Raza called him and said, "You got to give shares," and he and and because of that, he made extra shares to give for free to the the Malay uh, this Malay group, and then the Malay yeah. thought we want more. So again, yeah. he had to create more shares to give away because his shareholders or who, who was everybody paid for their share, but but this yeah. this group, you know, they want it because you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and Raza had the cheek to tell him, uh, 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 Robert. Uh, the reason why you're facing this dilemma is because you're so successful. So people want a piece of the pie. Yeah, yeah you, you, can, you can read it in, the, in, in, in his memoir. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. And then he said, said okay, like, fine. Like, uh, you want to buy? Okay, I tell it to you. And then I, I move to Indonesia. I go away. Yeah, yeah move away. Yeah. So, so this, this is the thing. Like. Uh, this is the, the... That's what Chinese always do. Like, okay, like, you want it? Okay, like, you have it. Like, I'll just do something else. Like. Yeah, that's why when but... we were growing up, that's what you know it's like we can't get government job that's why we all just go work in private sector <laughs> yeah so now 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 they're they're, they're complaining oh you know that this this thing called alibaba yeah who created it you guys created it by by not giving it to the chinese the chinese will find a way so we have a a friend a malay friend who has it could be your driver no one to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, who has got no idea what to do, but we'll put him as director. Every year we'll give him something. He is totally happy getting something for nothing, you know. Yeah. It's a small thing, really. But to a driver, you know, who, 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 who gets maybe 2,000 ringgit, getting an extra bonus of 4,000 ringgit, like two months bonus every year, is great, you know. Yeah, so, but it's, he doesn't know that the, the company, yes. the billion, million dollar company, billion dollar company, <laughs> No idea. Yeah, you, you created these things, right? Yeah. So now live with it, lah. Yeah. So hopefully, lah, their next generation that you know Malaysia has funded all of them with scholarships to go overseas to study. Hopefully, they all come back and they will be the next it's generation cool. that will. I, I I know of Malay uh, a young Malay activist who want to change this, but they can't. As long as you have the old Amno guard, you know. Uh, uh, there, uh, in my opinion, it is totally impossible because you have to remember the old guys have to depend on the young, the younger ones to support them to say, "Hey, look, when I retire, you will take over." You know this rent seeking thing, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So it is. It's going to. You'll come back to the same thing again. We want to to do nothing but earn something. Yeah. So it doesn't work that way, hey. <laughs> If, if it doesn't work that way, that, then we will, we will be like Singapore, where everybody is on merit, but can't, you, 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 you just can't, not, not in Malaysia. Not, uh, but hopefully, like you say, the new generation, is, generation. Mm, can do it. Yeah.
can do some sort of change. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure I, I, there I, will be. So, yeah. I've, I've met... Maybe not our lifetime. Maybe your kid's lifetime. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I've, I've met the, these new Malays who really want, want a change, you know, because they also realise what? Just because you're Malay doesn't mean that you, you're going to automatically become, you know, this, this uh, uh, super wealthy person. Yeah, it's, it's who you're connected to is Najib's children, you know, and his grandchildren, you know, or is Mahade's grandchildren. Yeah, not you, 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 Japa, you, Melayu, but you, you, Japa, yeah, you, you're not connected to Da'in or, or, or to Tengku, whatever, you know, yeah, so you, you also have to work your way upward. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, hard to say. It, it, it is, yeah, so this beautiful country of ours, it's Unfortunately, it's gone down this this path. It's unfortunate. You you, you can actually find uh, Tumpu's uh, book. Uh, I can't remember whether it's is it called Looking Back or or, or he, he wrote several books lah. But if you the the pre the the, the Merdeka, during the Merdeka era when he when he talked yeah. about the Merdeka era and what he had the the vision he had of Malaysia. Uh, yeah, if, if his vision had carried through. Uh, you, 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 we would have been a wonderful country to live in, but unfortunately, uh, Tun Raja took over, and then, uh, then it became this uh, Malayu uh, thing. Yeah, mm. so, unfortunately, mm. la, Unfortunately, but what to do? Mm. Yeah, we can always keep hoping. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, never mind. I, hey, we, we we've been talking for two hours already. So, um, yeah, I think I think let, let's. Hey, good, uh, good for Zoom. He cut us off. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, well, well let, let, let's not complain about that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna share your video with the cousin. It will not be uh, online for public to see, uh, but it will be on YouTube, yeah. but it, it will be a private YouTube uh, video. I'll share the link with you, and anyone who has the link can watch the video, but anyone who doesn't have the link cannot see the video. So it, uh, we'll, we'll keep it okay. private. That's okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then let's see what, 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 what responses we get from them. And then maybe they got questions, then maybe we can set up another time. Yeah, sure, not a problem. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed uh, 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 yeah. this story. I, yeah, I always like, see oh, you. Have, you've got a lot of good projects. Yeah, That's really I, I, good. I, okay, we'll, 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 we'll set up another one when, when, when we've got more, All right. more, more stories to, to, to... Okay, send my love to your mom and dad. Hey, thanks. Hey, and yeah, best regards to, to, to your family, Uncle, uh, Uncle Ronnie as well. Yes, will do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you again. Yeah, okay. I'll probably zoom in with your mom and dad one day. Or oh, 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 WhatsApp. You, you know that WhatsApp, you can do that, 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 that voice call thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes. I think for I them, you just WhatsApp call them. Just yeah, yeah. Video call thing. I, I think oh, that, they use a lot of WhatsApp video? Okay, good. I think that's easier for them. I think that's easier for them. All right. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Okay. Touch. Bye bye. All right. Good to talk okay. to you, Verda. All right. Bye. Thank you.